Hey tiny turtles, welcome back to my channel. Good morning! It's currently 2 o'clock in the morning and I think I'm going crazy because this is the first time I ever woken up so early in like a long, 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 long time. But um, I'm just a little anxious. I'm a little nauseous. So I decided to eat some Paris baguette that I got yesterday while I was at work. Was that yesterday? Yes, yesterday. Look at these little... So yesterday I got a salad along with this stuff. Didn't really plan it out. My I was just hungry. So, you know, my eyes were like food, food, food. And then I was like, mm, I don't have enough tummy space for that. But um, look at these baby croissants. I thought I would put something in my stomach because as I said, I'm very nauseous. I don't know if it's just the anxiousness, if it's food poisoning, but we'll get into that first. This needs to go in the air fryer. I have two choices, croissant cheese, croissant, croissant cheese, croissant, ham, ham and cheese croissant, this one, or a ranch bacon thing. I'm going to go with the cheese and ham just because I feel like that's lighter on my stomach. I don't know if the ranch is going to disrupt something in there. I think it is. It's like the size of my face. So these are the little garlic croissants. They also have plain ones, but then I was like, um, garlic, hello. Today's D-O-T-D, as in drink of the day, will be a matcha. Well, my hair looks crazy, but I left my clip or any kind of rubber band upstairs, so just deal with it. It's early, I don't care, okay? We're going with the Ikoro matcha. Yesterday, I got the coffee, the cold brew from Paris Baguette and it was so strong maybe it's just because i'm used to drinking like very diluted things but it was so strong i felt like i was gonna get a heart attack my heart was racing and i was actually supposed to work today but my mom was very anxious over the phone about like packing everything up so i just decided to skip work this job was better at skipping work just because it was my auntie who I work with, so that's not really... I mean, it is a, a little bit of a deal, but it's her sister that I'm helping, so... In a way, it's all good. So, yeah, we're moving soon, and I'm currently whisking my matcha. I gotta bring this to my dad's house, too. I'm supposed to be driving tomorrow, well, today, actually. Hopefully the weather is nice. It was raining from what I last heard, so we'll see how it goes. Do I want to drink a warm matcha or a cold matcha? What are we thinking? I think a little bit of a cold matcha wouldn't be bad. I found a water bottle, so I'm just gonna use that. I do, I literally just filled the water pitcher, but um, yeah. Anyways, toss the matcha in there. The perfect ratio. No ice, but that's okay. Mm, look at that, beautiful. Taste test. That's good. I feel like I needed some liquid besides coffee or else I would actually throw up again. The coffee from Paris Baguette, the cold brew at least, was so acidic. I don't know if that's what messed with my stomach, but it's been over like 12 hours since I got it, so probably not. It's just anxiousness, anxiety, etc. Uh oh. <laughs> Don't mind the little light in the back. There's a little creepy doll over there that um, kind of haunts me. It's giving Chucky vibes, you know, that old kind of doll could be haunted. So it's over there, and I thought it would shine the light on it so it won't move and like attack me, you know? You'll just see a little hand coming out from the shadow. Mm -mm, I don't even want to think about that. I'm home alone. My mom is sleeping somewhere else so 
that's why I feel like it was okay to wake up and do this whole thing or else I would have forced myself to just drink water, shut up in my room and come out in the morning. But um, I feel pretty awake for it to be two o'clock. It's dark, as you can obviously tell, that's my proof, whatever. But I, I was just so anxious, my heart was racing. I don't know if it was the coffee I drank earlier probably not like caffeine it's a hit and then you're out you crash unless it's like a matcha kind of slow releasing caffeine anyways my heart is just it goes so fast when i get anxious and then did i make myself nauseous i don't know i actually was supposed to work tomorrow today but my mom was like panicking over the phone to me saying you need to pack you need to pack and then my dad's gonna be out of town so over the weekend i have to go to his house feed my animals take care of them sleep with them you know the drill keep them company you know while my dad's gone so yeah that means i don't get to spend the last days in this house technically we have to leave at the end of the month which is 31st this month is july 30 days past september april june and november 31 days but i work next week so i won't be able to spend time here and it would just be like a few hours sleep if i actually did so they also have to get it professionally cleaned so that's another day or two that i shouldn't be in here so in two days, I have to be out, and that's very bittersweet because I love this house so much. I love the AC. Now I'm gonna be stuck in 89 degrees for 24 hours because I chose to have school online. That was a choice, so I can have more time to make videos and like make an Etsy shop, be able to quit one of my jobs because I have two part-time jobs and then making videos which i care about a lot more as well as a potential etsy shop coming soon by the time you're watching this maybe the etsy shop already no 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 you know what maybe it didn't come out yet because there's a lot of planning to do with that but there's just so many things that have been on my mind that i think all of a sudden just came over me because on top of that i have to unpack all of this stuff that is has been carried from my mom's house to my dad's house and that's been a little bit of a challenge because my room at my dad's house is my childhood room and that means I have a lot of school things all of my soccer trophies medals that I've got plaques yearbooks binders of childhood memories that I don't know what to do with do you guys donate it do you throw it away when is there a point that you decide to get rid of all of that do you get rid of it i don't know because right now it's just sitting in my room yes i feel very accomplished and grateful to be able to have all of those memories but at the same time where does it all go and on top of that i have two sets of clothes technically two sets of shower products luckily i used all of my shampoo here so that's not a problem but like my skincare i have moisturizers that are in both places that just makes extra clutter i guess because now i have two sets of it obviously it's going to take me time to use one of the sets to only have one i have two toothbrushes luckily one is the mechanical and then one is the regular one so i'll just toss the regular one it's not a big deal but I'm just saying like living at two houses for the past like 15 years, I've garnered a lot of stuff, a lot of clothes, multiple pairs of jeans because I need like one for my dad's house, one for my mom's house or else too bad you'll be stuck trying to remember all of these items at one house. That would, that's been a childhood problem of mine like forgetting things at one person's house school stuff was the worst because then i'd have to drive to one house the other house make it inconvenience to my parents 
oh, the memories. Now I'm an adult, so I have to drive myself. But back then, yeah, I left shoes at one house, homework, laptop, iPad. What did I leave recently? I left my iPad here when my mom got the vids, so I wasn't able to have any of that footage and I wasn't able to post any videos, but that, whatever. But school stuff, I was very picky about school and we had uniforms, so that was even tougher because uniforms are expensive, you know? So having, I had like two, two uniforms, so yeah. Sometimes they would automatically end up at one house and then over the weekend I'd go to the other house leaving said uniform and whatever those were the childhood memories yeah now I don't have a uniform but I do have a lot of Uniqlo clothes a lot of sleeping shirts that I feel like I don't need all of them I'm gonna be honest I have a lot of shirts that I've collected throughout the years and I feel bad about giving those away too because some are like athletic shirts as in the ones I've gotten from school and I'm like should I really should I keep this or should I throw it away what do I do do I donate it I don't think I donate it because it has my school name and then some of them like my old school field trip ones they have all of our names first and last in the back so i guess that one's a good one as like a keepsake but my problem is how long does one keep this keepsake you know what i mean if i don't have any room where do i put it i have so many hoodies so that takes up a lot of room in my closet i've gotten rid of some of my long sleeves though so i'm kind of proud of that but I do have things like my cap and gown. Where does that go? I, I didn't even wear it, to be honest. Like my sash thing, because I graduated in the wonderful year of 2020, has not even left its packaging because when I took my graduation photos, it wasn't ready yet. So I had to use whatever one the school had. Each of us had an appointment to come in. We would use the borrowed gown, wear it, put the sash that they had, whatever. So I don't, maybe I wore the cap and the gown, but I know that the sash thing is still in its packaging. And like, it's totally white, the gown itself. So where does that go? That's just useless. I don't know. I wish they had like a recycle program. I understand people like to keep it, but I look at it and I think of, mm, I didn't get to see my friends at graduation. And then that was one of the last times I saw my friends and now I don't have any. So it makes me really sad to think about high school times. But then I feel like I want to get rid of all my high school stuff. But then in the future, maybe I'll want it back. So I don't want to get rid of it. Oh, I'm just talking all kind of gibberish while I'm waiting for my croissant to cool off. It's a little burnt, but the bottom isn't. Usually, usually I like to wait because the outside will be warm, but the inside will still be cold. So let's see how today is. outside tastes like a parmesan i didn't hit the meat yet but i usually get this one so i know it's gonna be good already but today's plan i'm not it's not gonna be in this video i want this to be as specifically like a mukbang but today I have to go pick up my sister at 11 from my dad's house, bring her here so she can pack up, go to my grandma's house, drop off stuff for her that my mom packed. Yeah, that's my day. <coughs> oh, that's burnt. Mm.
Mm-mm. Wash it down with more bread. And then since this house is a rental, we got to go in with the magic eraser, take out all the scuffs, and yes, they're going to professionally clean it, but mm, I don't know why we do these things. I guess to help clean a little bit. I think it's pretty nice, the house, but could be better, I guess. I don't know. The hardest thing I probably have to do is clean out the fridge and all of my food storage. Just because I've collected so many sauces over the years. And I don't know where to put it at my dad's house. We have like no room in the refrigerator. So I gotta find a place for that. And all my instant noodles. Oh, I don't know. A lot to go through. And also, even if I do fill up the garbage bags, there's a long way. It's not that long. But like, there's a, a little bit of a walk to the dumpster area. And I'm like, oh, do I really want to carry all of that stuff? Which is why, part of the reason why I've been putting this off, just because the trash can is so far away. Like at my dad's house, the trash can, you know, you get the black bin, roll it down the road, roll it down the driveway, stuff like that. But then this one, since it's like in a different area, it's a dumpster that everybody shares. And it can get full, so tomorrow is the best day to do it, or else there will be no room for all of my garbage. And at this point, I think I have like two garbage bags in my room, a cardboard, broken down cardboard boxes that I need to toss. So hopefully there's enough room for me, I'll do it tomorrow. Whenever, if I say tomorrow, I really mean today because this 2 o'clock thing is messing my brain up. This croissant makes me so happy though. Also, you may be wondering why I'm not eating on like a plate. And the truth is, my mom took most of the plates. I don't really, we don't really have any more that are in the cupboard. So you gotta do what you gotta do, you know? Is this what living alone is like? <laughs> so much better after eating this. Maybe was, I was just hungry. I don't know. But I guess maybe talking it out is good too. I'm just so sad. I really don't want to leave this house. It's been a good for five years, four years since we moved in. We moved in around like 2019, right before the pandemic. Well, not right before. More like the summer before the pandemic, you know? Oh god. Hmm. I want to cry, but I think I'm so exhausted. I'm not. Crying is for the weak. Although I feel like if I took a little cry, it would make me feel better, but... I got no tears left to cry, I guess. Oh, there's chunks in my matcha. Oh, I'm so sad. <laughs> I was just too lazy to whisk it all the way. At first I was debating if I wanted to film a video like this because it's like very raw and emotional. But at the same time, this is literally my video diary. So that's what it's meant to do, you know? Which is why I'm here. I was even struggling to get up. I was, I don't know. It's not sleep apnea, but I was just, or sleep paralysis. I was just in the bed like, should I get up or should I force myself to sleep again? And then I turned on some relaxing eight hour YouTube music or whatever, lo-fi. And I don't do like very good with sounds. I like to sleep with it being totally quiet. Fan, okay. Sometimes no fan. AC is okay. But I don't like how people have like music. I... I don't know. I'm just sensitive to that. Even if my dad's watching a movie and it's kind of loud in the living room, then I'll tell him if he could turn it down. Just because I'm just very sensitive. And 
I'm a very light sleeper, anything, and I'm up. My sister is like the complete opposite. She can sleep through anything. But for me, I just get very paranoid and sleeping home alone, that's even worse. Is that how adulthood is gonna be? I mean, like, I'm already adult, an adult, but like, is that what living alone life is like? If it were my choice, I would, you know, be having ring security everywhere because things happen. I'm not gonna say the things because I don't want them to happen, but I did see on like some kind of Hawaii news thing on Instagram that I follow. And I guess some guy tried to do like some home evasion invasion and then the homeowner caught him and made him drink olawai water. If you don't know, the olawai is like, I guess, an outflow of water that is known for being very polluted and yeah, very dirty, nasty water. Almost like sewer water, maybe. I'm not entirely sure. But he made him drink the olive oil water. And that's like nasty. You can get infection from just touching that water. I've heard stories. I haven't personally. I've walked over it because there's a little bridge. But I would not dare put my hand in that water. But they are like cleaning it, I guess, with these ganky balls, which are like algae balls. Anyways, yeah, where was I? Rambling about all of these things, but I'm just very nervous about the future and it just, oh my goodness, it's making me nauseous. <laughs> I should really stop, but I think it's good to talk about. Maybe I'm just overly tired. Hmm. I'm not entirely sure. I'm just taking a look at this house as long as I can before it's all gone. This was a good house. Hmm. It's currently like, it just, it's about 3.15ish. So, yeah, not sure what to do. I mean, I should clean, duh. But it's such a pain to clean. I'm like, no, just a little bit longer. Can't believe I only have three more days in here until a chapter is closed. But, oh, I wanna cry, but I'm too tired to cry. Should I try go to sleep again? Because I know I'm going to have to drive tomorrow. And will I be really alert to drive? I don't know. Probably because I'm very alert now. And I think I'll be okay. Maybe take a nap, whatever. I'm just so sad. I don't want it to end. But life goes on. And so will I.